Hi, I'm Stephanie and this is my home, the 16th century Chateau de Lalande. Lalande was owned for hundreds of years by a family of marquises who were at the heart of French royal life. One of them even had the honour of being sent by King Louis XV to greet Marie Antoinette on her arrival in France. But, far from being a stuffy museum, this chateau is a living home. I live here all the time and I'm regularly joined by my mother, my family, my friends and wonderful volunteers from all over the world who help me to lovingly restore this historic home. Welcome to La Lande, a chateau filled with life, love and laughter. This is a very rare sight because yes. you and I have the least vloggable jobs in this house. We sit at computers. <laughs> time to time, we do things. We do, see? we do. Yeah. And <laughs> look how pretty you look cooking. Oh, thank you. Well, more importantly, how incredible the cupcakes look. When will they be ready for us to taste them? Uh, tonight. I'm going to cut a little piece of the top, put some uh, icing sugar on it, and Yum. then... Yeah. And look, peacocks! <laughs> <laughs> nice try, don't Thomas. Do it. We saw you coming a mile away. Two mad in the kitchen, you don't want <laughs> Don't mess with us. <laughs> <laughs> the plaster on the ceiling of the entrance wall is finally dry, and Jerry and I are the dream team ceiling painting. Gerald? The day shift has arrived. The day shift is here. Down tools. Yay! <laughs> oh, you're doing the edges? Yes. Great, I'll start the middle. All right, so I need to go find a roller and let's get this painted. I like your look there, by the way. Look, little flash of tartan coming through. Well, this really needed doing, didn't it, Gerald? This oh, thing. absolutely. It's not great for the first room that you walk into in this house. Yeah, but it's, it'll be well worth it. Yeah, it's going to be great. See, you can see the difference that it's making already. Yeah, and look what a good job Ian the plasterer did. Uh -huh. No crack left anymore. It's the plasterer also called Ian. Yep, of course. You know, I think that must be a requirement at customs when you're trying to come in. <laughs> they say, what's your name, Ian? Yeah, and you come. <laughs> okay, this is my partner in crime. <laughs> This feels really good. Finally getting it looking clean. Do you actually see it changing colour? I do have a theme. It's harder on the ceiling with the light. It's always tricky when you're painting. Very satisfying. Here. Yeah, I think so. Do you think we'll get it finished for today? We'll definitely get it finished today. Oh, yes. Of course, You know, look at the style. No, my painting style. Yeah. This is my lance with which I protect the chateau. I'm taking a short break from painting because Mummy's new dress has arrived and I want to show you all how beautiful she looks in it. This is the one that I got from Selisa. Let's go and see if she's in her apartment. Knock, knock, can I come in? Come in, come in, come in. Oh, mommy, now we are matching. Well, you look I resplendent. It. I love it. I'm so happy you like it. I love it. And you know, I is so comfortable. Admittedly, I'm not sure at my age if we should be wearing matching dresses at the same time. I think perhaps I'm a bit old for matching my mother, but we'll wear them on alternate days. You're blue and I'm pink. Exactly. I love it. So easy to wear. I better get back to painting, mummy, and you can carry yes. on twirling like a dervish in here. And maybe having a cup of it's tea. So hot. I know it's so happy for me to see you not working in the garden because it's too hot. You're no, actually resting. No it's impossible Anthony. today. Anthony. Okay, Anthony. rest, have tea, and twirl like a dervish. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Toblerone. Superhero Toblerone, Gerald. Not just any Toblerone. Okay, team ceiling. <laughs> oh, what a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> right, this will keep us going. Getting there, the whole of the first coat is done. We just need strength to do the second coat. Yeah, once we, once we get started, it'll be fine. We could do this. 
we've got this. So do you think it's going to be gold then for the trim? I think we want a little splash of gold on the doors. Gold on the doors. Stephanie, what exactly are you using on the doors now? This is a special gilding liquid and I think Project Bling is going well, isn't it, Thomas? We are, we're team Project Bling. Yep, I'm going to look at Thomas in a minute. I just want to see how you're putting this on, how it's applying. Is it a special gold paint? It is, it's got little particles of gold suspended in a fluid, so it's oil-based. And I just felt that we needed a bit more gold in our lives. You can't have too much gold. No, you can't, you're quite right. And Thomas, how are you enjoying your afternoon? My precious. <laughs> yes. It's gold. It's gold. Absolutely, my lord. It's gold. We yeah. have the, the bling bling. Have the bling bling. Yeah, this is really quite satisfying. Now look at these two working the lint machines. I'll go and get the tea for us. I'll bring a tray of tea. Oh, I'd love that. I like it a lot. I'm so glad we went with the gold. Uh, just feels more like a chateau. Yeah, it was exactly what I'm thinking. Okay, carry on bling bling. By the way, there's not only Toblerone now, there's also chocolate chip cookies. We are moving uh, off chocolate, is this? What no, we're, we're actually are doing more and more types of chocolate. We're trying chocolate all forms because the application of gold requires heat. a lot of chocolate. Okay. You need the, <laughs> the power. Now, this has arrived in Michael Potts's name and he's just told me that I have to open it now. I don't know why. So, nice to have a little break from painting. I'm excited. It's come all the way from South Africa. Oh my. What is it? We're in, Natty. Good. Well, this is a very, very big box oh, for this. Okay. It's very well wrapped, so. I know what it is. What is it? I know what it is. I have to get another parcel to show you exactly what's going on, Natty. Hang on. All together. Mm -hmm. Michael brought this when he came this time. He had brought it back from South Africa when we were there together in February. It's the beautiful prints that we bought when we were in South Africa. But Michael told me not to open them because one of them broke on the way back from South Africa when he was carrying it. The glass broke and it damaged the print. And he thought that I would get a bit upset if I saw it. So he told me, don't open it. He's going to sort it out. And he's contacted the gallery and he's managed to get a replacement print. Wow. <laughs> Um, I think it must be that because it's got the name of the gallery on. Mozart. 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 I have to get in here. Now I can finally open <laughs> these. I've been dying to open them. I vlogged when we bought these so everyone will have seen this when we were in South Africa. This one looks as though it made it in one piece, no problem at all. Oh, because this one had tape on it and apparently um. the other one didn't have tape on the glass and without the tape it broke. This is so exciting! Already I can see it's even more beautiful than I remember it. Look at the colours! The artist is Karen Miller. Look at that! So beautiful. It's so beautiful. Oh, I can see my reflection. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> it's so, so full of Michael to send it to know. Can you believe that he contacted them and he sorted all of this out? And I'll show you the damage. Oh. Out. Oh, Out there. Glass yeah, there so Bit careful. of damage here. <laughs> Put that on there. You can see that all over it, it's been cut yes there, her throat her face if the yes. face hadn't been affected i wouldn't have minded so much but michael sent me a photo showing oh, that's amazing how scratched it is everywhere but i love it so i'm hoping <laughs> i'm really hoping 
But that's what this is. Let's find out. Yes. They're beautiful. <gasps> they're so beautiful. I think they go very well with the new fabric for your room. That's what I'm beginning to think. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> mostly it be in my bedroom. Yes. They're yes. too lovely. I'm mm -hmm. them every day. And it's very hard. It's very hard to find art that goes with my father's art because my father's art is very strong, yes. very colourful, very bold. But I think that these photos work really well with it. And I can get away with having them in the same room. <sighs> this one is perfect. I love it. Very beautiful. So I will have this uh, glass replaced. I'll take mm -hmm. it to the framers. They can put a new glass in for us. Wonderful. And I think it goes beautiful with your room. How is it against yeah. them? Well, let's have a look at the one that is framed. How does it look in here? Not great. Oh, it's so yeah. gorgeous. The other one has more pink, so it goes better, Even but better, between, yes. the, between them, are going to be oh, a I good love match. It so much. <laughs> and Michael fixed it all for my birthday. Isn't that so lovely of him? Yes. I'm going to just put it here so that I can look at it all day. Just gorgeous. Really beautiful. Thomas, this looks a bit precarious, <laughs> but absolutely beautiful. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, yes. Mm. The floristry studio is going to be sumptuous. <laughs> yeah. Must be with the chateau. <laughs> <laughs> so Selma sanded the table. Great. Nice. I thought it was a bit dark. It was too dark. Yeah. This is so much nicer. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, and he's done a lovely job of that. Yeah, he has. He's been very kind. Took him just 15 minutes. So. Wow. I know, it's going to look very nice in here. It is, and we have decided, <laughs> let everyone know, we've decided to keep the marble washstand in the floristry studio for now, mm -hmm. uh, rather than taking it to a bathroom, just because it looked so pretty when you put the flowers on it. I hope Michael Potts forgives me. For well, I will find another one. <laughs> I will go to Imaus, and he can either have this one, I get another one for here, or the other way around, but yeah, I will get another one. It's beautiful, and I think it's quite neutral in colours here, and that's good, because there will be loads of colours when the flowers comes in. Yes. And I think you need a canvas with flowers. I agree. Yeah, so we'll be good. And the curtains are very elaborate, but a very neutral backdrop as well. These stunning, stunning curtains are from Florence near Paris when Selma and I went to get things. And I hope that one day I will find somewhere to put them in the house. But at the moment, we don't have anywhere. So this will keep them nice and straight and being used beautifully in the meantime so that we can enjoy them. Yeah. And hide the pipework. <laughs> yeah. Until we get the ceiling properly done and hide that pipework properly. Yeah. And is there another curtain? Uh, there is another curtain, yeah. They're much bigger than I thought. Yeah, they are quite long. So uh, we'll make a great room one day, I think. It's a pity those pipes aren't straight at the top, and yeah. there's not much we can do about that. <laughs> we have to only film from here, <laughs> so no one ever sees the top. Because it's water, so Oops. the water needs to Yes. Yeah. Now we're going to do the... Libraries, yeah. <laughs> Excellent, the floral library. Yeah. Ooh, it's getting exciting in here. It is. <laughs> Get started. And you can use all of the beautiful floristry books that we were sent last week. Ah, oh, it's going to be great seeing them all together. I know. Thanks to so. Shannon who sent them. I oh. can't believe so. No. It's, I felt like it was a gift for me. <laughs> I'm going to use them the most, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> right, would you like a uh, coffee? Sorry? Of course I would like a coffee. Are you serious? I've got a new coffee machine and you can do this. This is the place to be, isn't it? This yeah. is where we should all be hanging out, the floristry studio. <laughs> oh, and look at the pods. Yeah, lots of different ones. Wow, this is not the capsules I'm used to. This is new. I know, and you put them in here like that. Energy. 
shame you don't drink coffee. <laughs> I am about to drink a coffee. <laughs> I, I do drink espressos, actually. It's the only type of coffee I drink, and um, but I put sugar in. Oh, would you but, like one? <laughs> yes, please, I would. <laughs> you definitely have a tea cup. So. I'm going to get you a cup somewhere. I like your cups. Are these, these are wooden ones? Yeah, these are wooden ones, so that I don't break you see my glass. coffee? That's very, very nice. Got another one over here. And then... <laughs> what fun! There we are. Right, in goes my sugar. I wish I had a spoon. <laughs> Don't worry, I've, I've got one inside. Great! Yay. Thank you, What's Mommy. been happening in the garden, Dan? Well, so I'm prepping for... The fence for the chickens. Ooh. Oh, yes, yes, yes. oh, so you're taking the fence down? Oh my goodness, it looks so good down. Yes. <laughs> well, well exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I know Isabel that's was a bit it. shocked, but I thought, well, it needs to be done. And actually, when we saw it down, we thought, well, it does look quite nice down. It does, doesn't it? So maybe there's a decision to be made on where it goes back up. But maybe. Oh, I can see the cogs turning, look. They're turning. Maybe if you go uh, here. Yes, I think like that could work very here. well. Yes. Or even a bit bigger, yeah, over to maybe where Selmar's standing. Gives them the more space. Plenty of shade, yeah. Lots of space, lots of shade. Because this is a very nice uh, with, with shade. Yes. Well, we could do the same on the other side. Yeah, and we'd have the roosters on one side yeah. and the chickens on the other That's side. I did say this morning I can probably find homes for the roosters. Do you That's mean you homes or pots? Yeah, like as in... As in an actual home. <laughs> no, as in a, a potless home, yeah. <laughs> that sounds good because two of them I, I hand-reared in my bathroom. So I'm sort of attached oh, wow. to them. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but I think it's a good that we, you have to, uh, to get the roosters on the other side. That's because, let me just explain yeah. why Selmar feels so passionately about this. Selmar, Nick and Marie are on the side that yeah. the roosters wake up in and they're woken yeah. by them <laughs> calling at what, 4am, 5am? Yeah. If they are in, in here, it's not a problem. Okay. So let the roosters stay. Yeah. Yeah. They're used here. They, they, uh, oh yeah yeah the, i think so i think we keep the roosters that's not a problem okay. with that if they are here that's yeah. a problem that's it we can keep we them we can just move all the people down here and <laughs> yeah. <you> know, <laughs> dan you've hit on the right exactly, answer yeah. that's precisely the sort of ridiculous thing we would end up doing <laughs> okay i bag the only house don't know where the rest of you are going uh so the chicks will be here in about a week and a half they'll be ready we'll be able to sex them so that's oh. exciting. Yeah, that's really exciting. And good for the hen because she's on her own at the moment. Yeah, so. she needs she yeah. needs girl companions and only girl companions, Dan. Don't want yes. you trying to slip any roosters no. in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, no pressure to build uh, the houses? Oh, no pressure at all. No pressure no. at all, Selma. No pressure. No time. No. One and a half weeks. <laughs> and what type of chickens are they? They're Brahmas. So they're actually one of the biggest breeds. <laughs> Of chicken they can get, so. Good eggs. Really? Yeah. Is that why you chose them? Yeah. Did you find them around here? Because I haven't found much selection we got, around here. We got here. the eggs from the UK and then one of our broodies hatched them out. And oh, just yes. Sort of had them yes. Ever, That's so, how you know. we got the ones that yeah. lay the blue eggs. Same thing, brought the eggs from the we've UK. We've got the Brahmas, which are the biggest, and we've got the Saramas, which are the smallest. They're sort of like fit in your hand, fully grown. Oh, yeah. okay. You let me tiny know. Little eggs. When you have some of those yeah. uh, being born, let me know. I'd love, yeah. I would love that too. Yeah. But do the big ones pick on the little ones? No, they all get on. Oh, it's great. Wow. Because we've always done it from broodies, you know, mm. instead of incubating the eggs, yes. they all just mix well. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's great, yeah. Obviously, we can't keep all the boys. We want that here. I love chickens. I would love lots of different varieties yeah. of chickens. That would be wonderful. Mm. But it's only ever peaceful if you don't have the boys. Yeah. <laughs> okay, come back. Here you go. So that's uh, what we well, did when now we I'm were... having second thoughts now. <laughs> <laughs> Great, thanks Dan. Good, all right. Week and a half, week and a half till chicken time. It is. Yes. Get ready. Yeah.
I'm very happy. <laughs> yeah, you're not the only one who's very happy. Mm, well, our muffins are over there. Oh, what you mean? I can't have one of those muffins. No, these are for the guests. So far, we got the curtain up. So that's all done. Great. And uh, me and Isabel went to La Chatre today and got some exciting things. Shall I have a quick pan over? <laughs> some nice things arriving. And it's Ooh. not not the half of it because we got a uh, delivery of flowers on <gasps> tuesday great here. so we'll have some goodies in the floristry studio when it's all done which is it's what it's lacking right now the floristry yeah. studio it's lacking flowers it's a bit nude a bit you know no one likes a naked floristry studio no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I see your shelves are all ready. Thomas yeah. put them together. Yeah, Thomas have. So that's excellent. We just need to get rid of all this um, thingies. So just yes. Some... There is a lot of boxes when you're opening. There really <laughs> are a lot of boxes, yes. So we got a shelf here so I can put Great. boxes and stuff on here and just equipment. Fantastic. And then uh, we need to sort out sort of um, vast shelving good. next to the um, sinks. So that'll be good. We need to make this a very nice, neat, tidy yes. place. Yes, and then if you have a couple of little armchairs on this side, yes. you can sit and read your floristry books here next to your coffee machine. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> so it'll be quite good when it's finished. And do the work on this side yeah. and have your studio there too. I love the pampas grass. It looks so good against those curtains as well. Doesn't it, Jess? I might just keep them. <laughs> and what are these wooden boards? The wooden boards are pizza... <laughs> So um, you can put pizza on them, but I put vases on them <laughs> <laughs> so that when I'm arranging, I can just spin the wheel and I'll work on what all, a good idea. all sides of the vase. Yeah. That's a really good idea. Good tip. It is. I've got two now. <laughs> so it's good. Oh, look forward to seeing how it gets on tomorrow in here. Yeah, it will be quite fun. Hopefully get everything sorted by then. Gerald? I mean, what a sight. What a sight. Is that that one? You, no, you carry on. I'm just, I, I just the outfit really. It's it's rendering me speechless. What do you mean? This is my Sunday best. After we finish, I'm going out for dinner with this. <laughs> I'm going to a top French restaurant. It's looking good. Really good. It's really subtle. Do you know you look like Snow White? Do I? You look like Snow White, and that can be that can be one of your divorce. <laughs> It's amazing white. I love it. And do you like the um, gold doors? Yes. Good. Like doors. I heard Gerald saying that you want to paint this as well, like golden inside. Maybe as well, yeah, a little bit more. I think it's going to be even, even nicer, yeah. With more gold, do you think? Yeah. This has been really fun, actually. We've Best done a lot today. <laughs> This is the happiest day of my life. He's so happy. Yeah, yeah, I wish I could get every day like this and not even taxi now. I don't worry about making money in the slightest. Well, that's good news, Gerald, because there's another, what, 40 rooms to do? Oh, they're all bad. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor said I'm going to take it easy. <laughs> and how's Thomas getting on over here? He's very quiet. Very He's quiet, yeah. There because it's the so hard to... <laughs> The artist is at work. He's one tiny little line. You have to. That's tiny. Yeah, it's tiny. I know your pain. I've been doing all of the doors, and Thomas has been doing all of the um, panelling around the windows. So it's it's been quite a day. You notice I've got two brushes. I see that. I've worked twice as hard as anybody else. Oh, that's what it means, is it? They call me. Two brush, Jerry. Well, I think you have because you're the first to finish. Ceiling's done. It's done, but you know the ceiling was easy. I had a couple of new bits, but what you've done with the gold, I think it's stunning. There's nothing easy about a ceiling, Gerald. It's really hard work, especially when you're mass size. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. The doors do look better, though. I'm happy. Oh, they're great, Stephanie. And I love how you've done this. You know, I love how you've painted this handle. Yeah, well, it picks it up. We're so lucky to yeah. have these gorgeous decorative details. And it's nice that we'll finally be able to pay attention to them. So can I wash my brushes? 
Yeah, right absolutely, go for it. I'm not going to be much longer. I'll probably be another half an hour or so. Well, I'm not going to be much longer. I'm always going to be this size. Okay, fair enough. Then we're both in a similar situation. <laughs> Someone gave you a present today. Someone I didn't know was coming. I watched us on the vlogs and knew it had been my birthday and brought me that. Wasn't that kind of you? That's very kind. Look at that. It, it is was beautiful. On his way to Paris. Yes. And he made a detour to come and drop it here. That's amazingly Absolutely kind. Absolutely wonderful. So I'm putting it there until and it's nice and watered. I love that I type love of hydrangea. I love it. Yes, absolutely love it. It's beautiful. Now I am out here looking for the pea chicks. Have you seen any pea chicks, Selma? Hi, Ruby. You're very camouflaged in this dry grass. Now, Selma tells me that last night she flew up onto the posts with them at this time of night. We don't know if she's a creature of habit, but just in case, she is approaching the post. Yes, Selma, you were right. Oh, they're not in a hurry to join her. They're becoming so much more independent. Just a few days ago, they would have flown up immediately after her. I think they're like most children, they just don't want to go to bed. Yes. Brilliant. Now the others are a little bit more timid. They take it in stages. Oh my goodness, everyone's hanging out. We've got Diesel as well. Can't believe that. I think you just swapped him. They've made it. Oh, they're so darling. I love it when they sit on the gateposts like this. Well, luckily, after that experiment, she's bringing them all back to roost properly nearer to the camper van, which is much better. It's been a great day. We're all triumphant. The ceiling and the doors are done. They're super bling. But whilst we're finishing off the rest of the room, I'm going to end this vlog with shots of us dancing tango in here last week before Nick and Marie left. It is tango night at La Lande and the elusive Nick has his tango face on. Oh, he is so suave and so ready to tango. I like the single eyebrow and the moustache. It's excellent. And Marie? I've got the tango shoes. And you are seven foot tall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas needs a taller hat. <laughs> Do we have a bigger paper bag in the house? <laughs> nice. I like it. It's great. It's, it's actually still not enough with those shoes, Nick. Let's get this party started. Ian, your first tango lesson at La Lande. It is. I can't remember how to do it, but hey, <laughs> we're but here with the expert. It's already your first step. You don't remember how to do it. We never knew how to do it, so... <laughs> I'm not used to driving on the other side of the road, you see. <laughs>
thank you to all of our patrons at Lalande who are making this vlog possible, especially our Dauphin and Dauphine of Lalande, Yadel and Ether, Alice, Allen, Anna, Brandon and John, Michael, Daniela, Dan, Banda, Denise, Behrens, Danelle Benakovich, Linda C, Bradley, Veronica Castillo, Donna Davis, Zoe Dork, Sakura Dennis, Laura Damari, Jackie Ellison, Nicholas W. Fairfax, Tracy Ferrari, Caroline Furster, Brenda Gibbons, Abigail Grant, Brenda Harris, Delane Holbrook, Kim Hasselhoff, Jacqueline Holmes, Helen Jacobs, Jimmy Kemp, David and Summer Lalande, Victoria Lapine, Janet Hoff Lombard, Shannon Maitland, Meredith, Nina Messick, Robert Miller, Kathy Norrie, JC Award, MP, Maureen Palmer, Tamara Price, Tonya Renee, Yvonne and Peter Richards, RJB, Candy Robinson, Bettina Rojek, Hanny Ross, Barbara Schmelzer, Sven Schreiber, Lisa Schultz, Jennifer Shanks, Nancy Simmons, Patty Suhu, Susan Stevens, Sarah Thornton, Colleen Troyer, Brandy Walton, Carolyn Ross Webb, Aaron Windish, Greg Wood, David Young, and Ludovico Zordinazzo. And thank you to all of you.